I went crazy and bought 400 plus coins at a flea market. It's a lot of fun figuring out what they were and what they're worth. I spent about $62. Let's see if I actually got what I paid for. So this was something interesting. It was kind of an impulse buy. Uh, there was a vendor there that uh, was selling me a few silver coins. And he want this kind of looked interesting to me. So I took the coin out, by the way. But it's saying the British East India Trading Company cargo. And it's dated 1808 coin. Authentic shipwreck coin. Okay, well... That's cool. It looks kind of like silver. I mean, I took it out of here because whatever. Nice looking coin. 1808 is definitely visible there. Definitely looks like the British East Indies. 10 cash, the X cash. Alright, cool. Well, so I read through this thing and it's very generic. It's all about just history of the British East India Company. Also looks like they bought it for 26 bucks. Um, I don't know how authentic it is because at the very end here it says copper coinage consisting of four denominations, 20, 10, 5, and 1 cash pieces were struck. In 1808, 10 and 20 cash pieces were struck again. The historic cash piece you're holding was made two centuries ago. So saying this is copper. I'm not sure this is copper. It looks way too not good for me. So, again, I had suspicions to begin with. He wanted 30 for it. I gave him 5 and he was fine with it. So, whatever. Interesting piece. 5 bucks. I'll take it. Alright, let's get these things out of the way. These are ration tokens, Oppo Red Point and Blue Point. I have these in baggies because I've been selling them probably about one to two dollars a piece. Uh, not the baggie, but each token. So these are from World War II era. Um, they've got two letters on them. They're all different. Um, but these were used for. Uh, I think these ones were for processed goods, and these were ones for were for meats and fats. But pretty cool part of history. I'm gonna keep a few for myself. Um, I had more red ones and blue ones, but I got a whole bunch of them. I think I got like 30 of them, and I've already already sold. Uh, I don't know, maybe about 10 or so. They're a lot of fun. I also got my first Masonic penny ever. That's a pretty cool piece there, from 1852. I guess this is worth maybe about five bucks or so. I got some state tax tokens. So we got Missouri with a five mil right here. Sorry, sales tax receipt and a one mil. So those are both out of zinc. These ones are out of aluminum and they're from Louisiana. So, these were partial um, cents. So, one mil was equal to 0.1 cents. And they used these to uh, take care of the sales tax back in the late 30s and early 40s. And so, stores wouldn't be losing so much money. Uh, anyways, you're probably wondering, alright, I got a whole bunch of, or some American stuff. So, the American stuff came from a... Uh, box that was labeled foreign and I just assumed it was foreign so I just dumped it in my box and just made an offer over everything but ugh, I got a Susan B. Anthony dollar in there it is not the wide rim I got a Sacagawea dollar again and then we got a 1934 wheat penny I also had a 1922D which is a rarity I sold that one already um, for seven bucks, because I'm not much of a collector of U.S. stuff. Now, this was really cool. This is a Mercury Dime, or is it? <laughs> Mercury Dime, wheat cent. 
with silver showing through. So, you might be able to see it in the video here. Yeah, there you go. See along the edge, you can see where the copper starts and the silver ends. So, somebody made this into a trick coin, shaved down the wheat scent rim. As you can see, it fits inside. And that's how they did the trick. So, pretty cool. I found a similar one for the same year. Uh, a little bit better condition, selling for 13 bucks on eBay. But I've only seen one of these on eBay. So, pretty cool. I like it. I'm not sure where I'm going to be selling these things. Um, I've been starting to get turned on to some Facebook um, coin groups. And they've been kind of cool, so I've been liking that. All right, got something from Venezuela, 1986. Very nice looking, five centimos. And Yugoslavia. Got a one dinar from 1965. From Zambia, 1983, one niwe. Maybe I should zoom in for these. There we go. Looks like you got an uh, armadillo, maybe? Alright. Then we can hop over here to Thailand. That's pretty cool. This is a 5 bot. This is not silver. And then another 5 bot. This one's a newer one. Same guy on the front. We had some stuff from Poland. 1923. Again. Not silver, but 50 Grotsky. Had Switzerland. Which is kind of cool. So this is just a brass 5 wrap-in from 83. And we had a 20 wrap-in. No, nope, that's a 10. Sorry. From 1981. But you have this one right here, 1881. That's the 20 wrapping right there. This is not silver. This is still copper nickel. They kept the same design of their coins forever and still continue. This is 1978 20 wrapping. So, <laughs> just kind of amazing that they look exactly the same more than 100 years later. Go check it out. Alright. So these are cool Peruvian coins. There's a 20 centimos from 1987. Gran Elementary Miguel Grau. And we got a cornucopia and a llama. Lots of wreaths. One Sol de Oro from 1956. Pretty cool. Let's look at this pile of Spanish coins. We got five pesetas with the Ferris wheel on it. And an arch. So we got a few of those that are fairly recent. Some newer design five pesetas. 2001. And then we got a few with holes. These are all celebrating different things. I can't tell you all of them right now. Maybe I'll put them as subtitles down here. That looks like Don Quixote. About ready to battle the windmills. Pretty cool. Here's another one of those. And more. This was celebrating Status of Sevilla. 92? I'm not sure why. I can't remember. Then we had some regular Pesetas from the 60s. And the 50s. And some 5 Pesetas. So, I really like this Eagle design. It's really cool. And then just the guy on the back. So, 
or the front, I should say. Now, this was sweet. South Korea coins are pretty awesome in general. So this one's 101 from 1979. Pretty cool. These two are 100 Hwan, H-W-A-N, instead of the normal um, W-O-N. So these are special because they're both from 1959. And this was the only year of issue for this, and in 1962, these were taken out of circulation and melted down. So they're somewhat of a rarity, and I happened to notice on eBay that a lot of four of these sold for $132 last week. Yeah, let that sink in. I've got two of them, and they're in fantastic condition. And somebody sold four of them, and they were worn down. You couldn't even see these details on the breasts of these birds. You couldn't see the wings. They were so smoothed down. So I'm debating. Should I sell them? Should I keep them? These are both in XF, maybe AU condition. Fantastic. Should I get them graded? I don't know. Looking for some uh, opinions. All right, South Africa. I love the South African coins. We got a fourth of a penny right here from '52 with George the sixth, and a full penny from 1960 with a hole in it. That wonderful ship with Elizabeth. And then we got some twenty pence, which first started showing up in the UK coinage in 1982. So these were from the first year, which is pretty cool. I, I love the design on there. And the fact that it's seven sides. And we got some shillings. We got some English and Scottish crest shillings, which is always fun. All Queen Elizabeth. Some pound coins. Oh, I love me some pound coins. Those things are so thick and heavy. I didn't realize they have different backs. So a couple of these were commemoratives. Some of these were English versions versus um, the Scottish versions. They have a different phrase. So English ones have the Deuces X Tutamanen. I probably butchered that. And then the Scottish ones have Nemo me impune la sesit. I can't remember what those translations were. Then I found this one, and as I was looking through Numista, trying to place it, it's got the English writing on the side, but that's the Scottish crest. And the Scottish Crest didn't have one in 97. They had one in 94 and one in 99. So I was like, oh, well, Numista must be missing this. <laughs> and then I found out it was fake. Apparently, there's a lot of UK coins that are fake. I did not know this. I wonder how many I have. Nothing big there. Then we have a five pence. Nice small one. And we have 50 pence. We have the big 50 pence right here in 78 and the small 50 pence in 97. Same design, just smaller coin. There's a difference in size for you. I think one was 27 millimeters and the other was 30. All right, then we have Tunisia, 1921, two francs. 1941, two francs. Okay, so you have this one, and it's smoothed out. I looked it up, measured it. This is from 1891. It's a 10 centimes, and it's worth about a dollar fifty-seven. So pretty cool. 
And over here, we got some from Portugal. I really like that bust there. That's pretty cool, and I always like the ships on the Portuguese coins. They're always different. And that crest is just awesome. I don't know, I just like it a lot. It reminds me of Yahtzee, because you got five fives there. So you got a, a Yahtzee, right? <laughs> It's the one and five escudos. Both of those are still copper nickel. Still no silver here. But I did buy some. Then we have our Russian one kopeck from 1940. From Somalia, we have the food security, the camel, and the elephant. 2002, we got a five shilling and a ten shilling. Pretty cool with those cheetahs there. Oh, I forgot some coins from the UK. Sorry about that. So here we've got a 25 new pence. And this is celebrating the wedding of Princess Diana and the Prince of Wales. Pretty cool. Those are worth about a buck or two. Then we had some really worn down coins. This is, I believe I found this one to be like 1862 or something. There's an 1863. These are both one pennies from Victoria. Really smoothed out. This one's a half penny from Victoria. Again, that one's 1862. You can almost see it there. And this one. It's 1806. You got King George the Third on a half penny. It's still only worth about 80 cents in this condition, if that. He is very pockmarked and worn out. But here's our first silver. Netherlands 10 cent from 41. Not in terribly great condition. Wilhelmina has seen better days. And we got some cents. So here's one of the zinc cents from the Netherlands, 1943. Beautiful design there. This one's from 1914. Another one cent. And we got a one golden from 95. Ireland, we got a 1982 and a 1980. One penny and two penny. From India, we got a 50 pies or paisa. This is from 1985. From Hungary, 1926, we got a 50 filler. This is copper nickel as well. So, this stack here is all sorts of Israeli coins. It's a very nice mix. So we got a one on Arguro, five Arguro, a one Arguro, five Arguro, a ten Arguro, another ten Arguro, this one's aluminum, a ten Arguro, a twenty. This is a half lira. This is a full lira. And this one with that fierce lion is a five lira. China, we've got some aluminum, two fan, 1982 and 1983. And then two cash coins. Those are always fun. Alright, so when I saw this vendor, he told me that somebody else told him this was silver that came over and saw him. And he tried to pass it off as silver, and I sat there and opened up Numista and showed it to him and proved to him that this was indeed copper nickel. And I said that even before uh, <laughs> opening it up. So, this was a 10 milliames from Egypt, 1916. Pretty worn down though. K 
Cayman Islands, 1972, one cent. Ecuador, 1946. I really like the toning on this one, five centavos. It's kind of got a little bit of a rainbow there. 46, 10 centavos. And then 85, one sucre. This looks like Kramer. <laughs> from um, Seinfeld. It's pretty famous, isn't he? Alright. That stack's been tempting you. I'm not gonna grab it yet. <laughs> Hong Kong, 1975, 20 cents. With the nice wavy edges there. Greece, 50 lepta. 1959. Japan. So we've got several of these. Um, aluminum coins from the early 1940s. This is one sen. I believe these are five sen. With the birds. This is five sen from 1922. And yeah, these ones, which these were all ten sen from the early nineteen forties. And then this one was I believe fifty yen. Yep. Fifty yen from nineteen sixty seven. That's a five yen from nineteen seventy-five. 10 yen, 1982. These are all one cents from, I think the earliest was 1922 and the latest was 1938. All made out of bronze. And then we had two one cents with these dragons on them. That's pretty cool. These are from 1884 and 1885. Really cool coins there. Alright, now we go to Jamaica. We got a five cents with that lizard or crocodile. I think it's a crocodile. 72. 69. Got one cent. 1970. And a uh, FAO edition, one cent. It's a World Food Day, 1973. And 10 cents. Got a few of those. These all have the crest with the natives on it. Pretty cool. And then the 50 cents. So you get a better view of that. You got the crocodile on top. Awesome. Still tempting you with that. Because that's where most of the silver is. <laughs> Alright, so we got Italy over here. Ten centissimi. So you got a wasp in there. Or a bee of some sort. Y'all got this guy with this great mustache. And that's a solid back. That reminds me of our U.S. Dimes back, that giant hammer. Or post with an axe sticking to it. Alright, and then we got a bunch of these. Uh, I think these are 500 there is. Yeah. So that one's a commemorative for 100 years of the Bank of Italy. Oops, that one was uh, some people looking at a building. I think this is a normal standard one. It wasn't celebrating anything. And this was maybe World Food Day? No, it can't have been. It was 1998. I'm just showing them off now. That's a sweet eagle. 
50 centimes, 1939. They do some great eagle poses here. 2 lira, 1940. And then we had some coppers, 10 centimes from the 1860s. Probably worth a buck a piece, that's what I paid for. The Dominican Republic. Pretty nice coins. I always like them. 81, 10 centavos. This one's a commemorative of the 100 years of the, uh, the martyr of Del Duarte. Duarte? Yeah. 25 centavos. Cuba, 20 centavos. You know I like Cuban coins. 1962. This is not silver. Still need to find silver. Costa Rica, 1969. 10 centimos, not silver. 1951, 10 centimos, not silver. <laughs> I'm not addicted to silver, guys. One cologne. And another one cologne from 84. Yeah, let's look at this pile. Oh, 50 centimes from 1941 for France. Then we had a nice smattering of the zinc coins from the 40s. The 10 centimes. Got one of these, a 10 franc from 1988. Pretty awesome. Then some 20 centimes. Oops, just one from 94. And then uh, one franc from 1923 with that couched out ruler, commerce and industry. And 1931, one franc. And then 1948, one franc. That one's an aluminum. The other ones are aluminum brands. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Bronze, 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 bronze. La la la. 25 centimes, 1924. 2 francs, 1980. 5 francs, 1945. So. We got 1855, that's 10 centimes, with something on it. And then this one is 1916, 10 centimes. And then this one, this one, 1789. 1789. Woo! <laughs> so I looked this one up. This is a one soul. And this is probably worth about six bucks. Pretty cool. 1789 France. One soul. Colombia, 1946. Five centavos. Austria, 10 groschen from 76 and 72, or 82, sorry. All right, this is Argentina with 10 centavos from 51 and 55 and 10 pesos. This one's a commemorative from 1966. And another commemorative, 1960, one peso. None of those were silver. Alright, here's another big stack. I'll show you what's left. Big stack, big stack. That's all one country. So we got Brazil, 10 centavos. Ninety-four, 
10 Cruzeros, 82, with a nice little map. And then one Real from 94, 98. Buy metal coin. Alright, let's go with Belgium. So we have 20 Sun teams from 53. This one is 1944, two francs. This side looks great. This side, you have to really look at it in the right angle. <laughs> then we had several of these zinc one francs from the early 40s. Those are really cool coins. The lion. And then we had a whole fistful of one francs. Both Dutch and French text. Not gonna go through all those. Ten Sun teams from 1904. Again, this is not silver. That was copper nickel, I think. And then this one is a new one for me. And this is a five franc coin from Belgium. And I believe this one's actually a rare one. A rare one because this is the key date of this. And it's in pretty great condition. Numista listed this at $24. Would you believe that? Canada. Nickels. Got this one. This is a chrome plated one from 51. Got a 64 copper nickel. And we got a rabbit. We got one from 67. Unfortunately, this one was not made out of silver either. <laughs> I think it was just made out of nickel, but fantastic condition. And then 75. And we got a boatload of quarters. Oh my goodness. So many quarters, and none of them are silver, but we do have a Mountie commemorative. Those are always fun. Nope. Just the caribou. I had to check on the 68s, because if you weigh them and they're slightly off, they might be silver, but they weren't. And we had a few Canadian cents. Uh, we had more than this, but I have put them in my book already, which I'll update later. And we did have Canadian silver, like this one. <laughs> What's left of King Edward? Is that Edward? Might be George. Yeah, I. There's no date there, but that is a quarter. It's a silver quarter. I'll take it. And melt it, probably. And we had another one with a hole. Nice fish scale from 85. Beautiful aging there. Wish the hole wasn't there. Another one with a hole. Not as great a condition, it's kind of bent and worn. 88, 1888. And then we had a 1943 that looked like it was glued to something. So, some more silver. And then this is the pile of East Caribbean states. So, again, all of them are going to have Queen Elizabeth on the front. Oh, getting that out of the way now. We got our ships. So these are all 10 cents. And they are various ages. That was 81. We got 65, 65, 63, 65, 65, and 62. And then we got some fun shaped ones. We got the wavy shaped one cents from the 81. These are aluminum. And we got some square shaped two cents. From 81. And then we got some wavy shaped five cents. From 81. <laughs> I think they had other years for them, but they just happened to get all 81s. 
All right, then we got some more 25 cent ones from 55, 55, 59, 65, 65, and 81. A little bit of an update there. A one dollar from 81. And the big one, 50 cents from 65. Pretty awesome. I like how she's riding on some seahorses or something like that. All right, uh, you've been waiting patiently for Mexico. <laughs> Mexico? What do you want Mexico for? There's 10 centavos, one centavo, more 10 centavos. Five centavos, five centavos. They've all got the eagle on the back. One centavo, an older one. This one's got a different eagle. It's a nice looking one. Here's another stack. These are all 20 centavos. They all look the same on the front and on the back. So there's a nice view of that eagle that I've been skipping. And we got a wavy 50 centavo. And we got some one pesos, 96 and 97, pretty nice. Got some 50 centavos, some 78 and 79, again with those backs. We got a five peso, well this is five new pesos, that's the N in front of the dollar sign, is new peso. Then we have Diez Pesos, so 10 Pesos, and 98. It's a fun guy sticking out of his tongue. And we had a whole bunch of 20 centavos, which you guys that have been watching my videos, you know we have a whole stack of ones that are just AU condition, and you guys want those, right? Okay, this was a cool one that I haven't seen. Uh, this was commemorating the Mexican Revolution. 75 years of that, with a 200 peso coin in 1985. And then over here we've got some more 1 pesos in copper nickel. 75 and 78. And now to the interesting stuff. So let's start with common ones you've seen. These are 1 pesos, the 10% silver ones. So they've aged, they're worn down, they're probably worth about a dollar twenty in melt each. And I paid about that much. I paid melt for silver from this guy. This is a one peso from 1947. I did not have one of these. It's 50% silver. Very nice aging there. Great looking eagle on the cactus. I love it. And then the big kahuna, we got a five pesos coin, 27 point, well, 27 and 7 ninth gram, 72% silver, 52. Very nice coin. I'm pleased with that. So, we have this giant pile of coins that I bought. And I'm quite pleased with it. I'm glad to be able to share it with you guys. Finally. Sorry it took almost 50 minutes to show it all off. I'm probably going to edit it down. You guys are great. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> this has been Brad and my horde of world coins. And American coins. Oh, I forgot to give you a recap. So, according to Numista, and all of the conditions that I've seen out of this, uh, this whole hoard was worth about $365, and I paid $62 for it, um, from various vendors. Uh, mostly all from one vendor, which just had a pile of tokens and stuff that I could sift through. But, um, yeah.
I'd say it was worth it. Worked out to be, I, I think I said over 400 coins and it was only like 365 maybe. But it worked out to be about 17 cents a coin. Definitely made it worth it. Um, I've already sold a bunch. I've sold some Hawaiian trade dollars. I've sold um, some of the Opa blue points and red points. I have sold... Um, oh, I got some transit tokens in it too. So I'll pop up some pictures of those as well and you can just see everything. And I will probably use a lot of this um, to sell. Um, so if you're interested, hit me up. If you saw something that you'd really like, um, yeah, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, I've been starting to list some things on some coin groups online on Facebook. I do still have my eBay store, but I haven't updated it in a while, and now they're taking 15% of my sales, so I'm not sure how much I want to invest into that. Thanks again for everything. You guys are great. See you next time.